In the next episode of Mental Health and Muscle, we'll be exploring the world of mindfulness in fitness. With a rise in the popularity of holistic wellness, mindfulness has become a buzzword in not just the mental health community, but increasingly in the realm of physical health and fitness as well. What exactly does it mean to be mindful? It's all about being present in the moment, fully aware of the sensations in your body, the thoughts in your mind and the environment around you. But how does this concept translate into fitness? How does being present in the moment enhance our workouts? Often, we find ourselves merely going through the motions, lost in thought or distracted by our surroundings during our workouts. This lack of focus can lead to ineffective training or even injury. By being mindful, we can tune into our bodies, acknowledging every movement, every breath and every bead of sweat. This focused attention only lead to a more effective workout, but also a more fulfilling one. Can meditation and exercise coexist? This question poses an interesting piece of the puzzle. The thought of meditation usually conjures up images of stillness, tranquility and peace. In contrast, exercise represents movement, effort and intensity. At first glance, these two seem diametrically opposed. However, if we delve deeper, we find that both meditation and exercise aim to improve our overall well-being, albeit in different ways. Meditation cultivates helping us manage stress, anxiety and negative emotions. Exercise strengthens our body, boosting our stamina, endurance and physical health. When these two practices are combined, they can create a powerful synergy. Mindful exercise or meditative fitness is not just about building physical strength or losing weight. It is about a more profound connection between the mind and body, fostering a sense of inner peace and balance. This is only scratching the surface of what promises to be a fascinating exploration of mindfulness in fitness. There are countless more aspects to uncover, research to delve into, and perspectives to consider. The conversation around mindfulness in fitness is evolving, growing, much like our understanding of mental health itself. Tune in next time as we delve into these intriguing questions and more. We invite you to join us on this journey of discovery as we seek to unravel the complexities of mental and physical wellness one episode at a time. As a personal note, I'd like to share a piece of my own journey. This is not just a tale of overcoming challenges, but a testament to the transformative power of embracing healthy habits. To provide some, there was a period in my life marked by relentless pressure. Stress and anxiety seemed like permanent fixtures, clinging onto me with an unyielding grip. The familiar rhythm of my existence was overthrown, replaced with a fast-paced relentless beat that echoed with tension. I remember vividly the unending nights, plagued with insomnia, my thoughts spiraling in an endless loop of worry and fear. I would lay awake, staring at the ceiling, my mind racing far faster than the ticking clock at my bedside. The mornings were no better. I would wake up, my body heavy with fatigue, my mind clouded with unease. My days were no longer filled with joy, but overshadowed by an overwhelming sense of apprehension and restlessness. This constant state of stress started taking a toll on not just my mental, but also my physical well-being. I felt like I was caught in a whirlwind, swept away by anxiety. In my search for a solution, a beacon of hope, I stumbled upon numerous suggestions and remedies. Amidst all the chaos, one solution stood out, the transformative of exercise. Exercise, as I discovered, wasn't just about physical fitness or losing weight. It was about finding a safe, a sanctuary away from the chaos of life. I began with modest activities, nothing rigorous or challenging, just simple walks around the block and easy sessions of yoga in the comfort of my home. These small steps, though seemingly insignificant at the time, marked the beginning of a transformation. As time passed, these activities evolved from mere hobbies to an integral part of my daily routine. I started noticing a gradual shift in my perspective a softening around the edges of my worries. My sleep improved, the nights no longer filled with restless thoughts. My stress levels dropped, replaced with a newfound sense of calm and tranquility. 
the scene brighter, the nights more peaceful. I began to experience an enhanced sense of clarity, my mind no longer in the grips of relentless worry. It was as if exercise had provided me a secret key, unlocking a path to serenity. My time spent exercising was no longer just about physical exertion, but a moment of escape, a period of disconnect from the world and a chance to reconnect with myself. I found solace in the rhythm of my breath, the beat of and the strength of my body. So whether you're an avid fitness enthusiast or just starting your journey towards healthier life, remember that every step, every push, every drop of sweat is a progression towards better mental health, towards life less burdened by anxiety. The most important thing is to start. Initiative is the first step towards change. Start small with whatever you can, at whatever pace you're comfortable. It's not a race, it's a marathon. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's about the strength you discover within yourself, the resilience you build and the peace you find. So lace up your shoes, roll out your yoga mat, grab your weights, whatever your choice of exercise may be, let's embark on this journey together. In the forthcoming episodes, we're going to dive deep into the crossroads of mental health and physical exercise. We will unravel the importance of integrating fitness into our daily routines and how its impact extends far beyond the physical benefits. To unfold the layers, we will initially focus on the advantages of outdoor workouts. We'll study the correlation between nature and exercise, how the greenery, the sunlight and the fresh air can uplift your mood and how they play a crucial role in reducing stress, anxiety, and depression. We'll also be examining the runner's high, a term that had been a topic of discussion among fitness enthusiasts for decades. We'll delve into the science that goes into explaining this phenomenon, how physical activity prompts your body to release chemicals called endorphins, often referred to as feel-good hormones. This rush of endorphins not only helps in elevating mood, but also is thought to be directly responsible for the feelings of relaxation and optimism associated with regular physical activity. Furthermore, we'll be discussing motivational tactics. Because let's be honest, staying committed to a fitness regime can become a challenge, especially when the road gets bumpy. We'll share strategies to remain motivated from setting realistic goals to finding a workout buddy to rewarding yourself for reaching your milestones. We'll also shed light on the importance of during this journey of physical fitness because every step taken towards becoming a healthier version of yourself counts. So remember, your journey is unique and there's no one-size-fits-all approach to fitness. But one thing is undeniable. Your mental health matters. Stay tuned as we embark on this journey together. And with that, we come to the end of our episode. Our discourse today was centered around providing substantial knowledge and effective strategies that could be beneficial in managing mental health. The journey you're on isn't a sprint, but a marathon where you're running your own race at your own pace. Keep in mind, you're not walking alone. Our supportive community is here to guide you. It's not about speed. It's about persistent willpower, endurance and resilience. There will be moments when you may need to stop, take a breather, or even rest. These are the moments you should cherish, learn from, and grow with. Each step you take forward, no matter how minuscule, marks progress towards a healthier mind and a more robust spirit. It's essential to remember that the path of mental health isn't linear, but more like a labyrinth. It's a complex journey filled with highs and lows, unexpected twists, and challenging turns. These obstacles, though they may seem daunting, are what shape your resilience and make you stronger. They teach you to be patient, to practice self-compassion, and to become your own best friend. As we wrap up today's episode, I would like to emphasize the importance of maintaining your strength and pursuing activities that spark joy and passion within you. Maintain a balanced diet, ensure that you're resting adequately, and take the time out for self-care. Taking care of your mental health is as significant as your physical health. It's a crucial aspect that that contributes greatly to your overall well-being. Don't forget to treat yourself with kindness. And remember, 
that it's okay to ask for help when needed. Practice mindfulness. Stay grounded in the present moment and you can't control. You are stronger than you think and capable of overcoming any challenge that comes your way. Surround yourself with positivity, positivity, and let it guide you forward. Join us next time as we continue our exploration into the world of mental health. Until then, let our closing message be one of resilience, strength, and hope. Stay strong, stay healthy, and keep moving forward on your journey towards mental well-being. Remember, the only way out is through, and every step you take is one step closer to a healthier, happier you. Until next time, signing off. Stay strong, stay healthy, and keep moving forward.